With regard to suicide, all Christians are against suicide. In the old days, anyone carrying out an act of suicide could not be buried in a churchyard or in consecrated ground, and they would believe that um, their soul would go to hell. Fundamentalists would use their seven teachings against suicide. They'd also say that um, Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus, committed suicide, and so it's not an obvious example to follow. They'd say no other animals commit suicide, and that ultimately um, Christians should be seeking sanctuary in heaven and not going to hell. Liberal Christians would agree with all of that, but they would also say that a loving and forgiving God would not seek to punish somebody further if they were obviously suffering terribly in their life and committed suicide, God, as a companion, surely would see them in a compassionate light and wouldn't send them to hell. So that we've got abortion, we've done uh, euthanasia and suicide, and we've done fertility treatment. The thing to remember with all four of those issues is that fundamentalists are always against them, whilst liberal Christians are against them in principle but would accept them on compassionate grounds. The part of the medical ethics module is about using animals in medical research. The principle here is about people's relationship with animals and this all stems from a biblical reference in Genesis in the Old Testament to a concept called dominion. So all Christians believe in dominion. They believe that God gave power to Adam and Eve and all human beings over the environment and animals. The difference between fundamentalist or Roman Catholic and liberal or Anglican views is the way in which they interpret this concept of dominion. So fundamentalists see dominion as their ability to do entirely as they wish and to exploit nature. Power over nature for them means that they can do what they like. They believe that God made the world and put humans in charge of it. They believe that dominion means that the world's resources and its animals can be used for the benefit of human beings. They say that the benefit of medical developments outweighs the suffering and any of the cruelty that the animals experience. They would say that human beings are much more important than animals. Animals don't have souls. They have no sacred link to God. They don't have a conscience. They won't have a mo an afterlife in heaven or hell. And they can't make moral choices. You remember from Genesis that Adam names the animals, which implies that human beings are... <clears throat> more important and in control of the animals, that um, human beings are made as a pinnacle of God's creation after God makes animals on the sixth day. So those are all the reasons that fundamentalist or, or Roman Catholic Christians would give to support the idea that using animals in medical research is acceptable. Liberal Christians, alternatively, would say that human beings should use their dominion over the world as stewards. Stewardship means caring or loving for the environment. It means that animals should be treated with kindness and love and compassion. And that while experimentation isn't necessarily wrong, it shouldn't involve any cruelty. Two biblical examples of um, stewards are Noah and St. Francis of Assisi. Both of them were seen to look after animals, most notably Noah, who saved animals from the flood. So, just to recap, with regard to using animals in medical research, Christians on the whole see medical research as an important way of improving the quality of human life. They would say that we have dominion over all living creatures and the environment, but fundamentalists have a different view about how that dominion can be used 
to liberal Christians. Liberal Christians would be against any sort of vivisection or live experimentation on animals that involved, involved cruelty. You'll also remember that their attitudes towards the environment can be summed up by VUPS.com, V for voting for a Green MP and so on. Okay, so just to sum up the whole of that module on medical ethics, we started off by talking about the technical terms that you need to be familiar with. We then moved on to the fundamentalist and Christian teachings that can be applied to abortion, euthanasia, fertility treatment, suicide and cloning. We then looked specifically at abortion, euthanasia, suicide and so on. And then finally we finished up by looking at the use of animals in medical research.